Hello YouTube! Are you thinking about creating your own at home studio but without breaking your bank? Well you've come to the right place because we will build a studio here for less than $500. Stay tuned and watch this ordinary space transform into a custom studio. Let's get wild! When setting up your home studio, you want to be aware of three things. Your ambient lighting coming into the space, ambient noise, and the size of the space. The size of the space is especially important for lighting and sound quality. I found that this shelf from Home Depot, and which I've linked below, works best for me in this space. I found it helpful because I can install it or assemble it both horizontally or vertically. I chose, obvious, the horizontal assembly method because I could repurpose it for storage. Next, we will assemble the desk portion, also horizontal assembly, for our home studio. As you can see here, I already have all the pieces that we'll need to assemble the desk. So, let's get started. All of the instructions are located inside the box. But, since I've already assembled the shelf portion, Everything else is pretty easy. It's a simple lock, slide and lock system, so it's not too terribly difficult even to do by yourself. As far as the bottom of your desk, you can put it to whatever level you want. From the top, since we have these top, these really sharp edges right here, I'd recommend you setting this top level to the highest level that you can get it. There's also plastic things for the top part of this, so they won't be so jagged. Oops. And I've lost the bottom part. We can snap this in. So you'll find out as you're assembling this, if you do choose to get this one, that until you get the wood panels inside of it, 
they pop out a lot because they have no other support. But you still can't beat the price. So while I still have the side off right here, I'll go ahead and slide my first or my bottom wood panel in, just like so. Just make sure it lines up with that lip. This way, we won't have so much disruption. And they will keep popping up. Now for the last part. As you can see, this is also very, very simple. So if you ever put together a shelf like this, you know just how simple this is to do. Very easy, time effective, so that you can get onto different parts of your studio creation. And there, we have our fully assembled desk in less than five minutes. Now let's move on to the fun part, the lighting. The lighting and the audio to me are the, you know, the best parts of creating this whole studio. So I chose to go with the Edison bulb. I chose the LED original um, Edison bulb it's only 250 lumens. I wanted to keep something dim so that I can have it as uh, a backlight and it wouldn't interfere with my key light. So this is the bulb that I chose. Also, I wanted the draping look. So I wanted the freestyle um, studio type look, you can say. And so I chose the Edison plug-in pendant um, socket to go along with it so I can drape it from, I can get this whole thing in. So I can drape it from the ceiling and have it come down to whatever I chose. I also wanted to note that I, I chose this side for the desk to be on because on the opposite side, that's where the air conditioning unit is and you can hear it come in through the vents. So I chose this side. This kit comes with the hook and the on off switch. So it's very convenient for just in case you're playing with different light for a different set, you can always turn them on and off and move lights around. So you're not stuck with these lights being hardwired in. So they do plug in, very simple. I also found these at Home Depot. So you can just go to the lighting section and you can find these two bad babies there. Uh, you can pick whatever color you want, whatever shape or a bulb or color, you can choose whatever you want. They have a big variety at Home Depot. So to save time, I've already pre-installed our hooks so that we can install them faster to, so that I'm not wasting your time and you can really see the look of this. I'm excited. 
So this kit comes with hooks and the little hooks, the tabs that go onto the hook, and then you can drape them accordingly up here. So you attach both of the hooks wherever you want them. Make sure you have distance. I like to keep a little tension so that my wires aren't draping into the footage while I'm shooting. So I keep a little tension on them. And just like so, you want to install these next to an outlet or a surge suppressor if you have one available. I, I happen to have two power outlets right here. So it just worked out great. Let's install the other one. This is a very quick and easy setup. It's not, it doesn't take too much time. You can really be creative with whatever, whatever look you want uh, and you're really, with these, you can always change the color of your bulb. You can always change the brightness. Um, just, you can add on to your collection of bulbs. I fell in love with these bulbs as soon as I saw them. Install this one here. If you don't feel comfortable with this, you can always hire an electrician. Although I don't find one necessary because it's just a plug and play system. Now, the only thing that you might have trouble with will be making your making these bulbs not conflict with your key light. Lighting for me has been the biggest issue to conquer since I've started making my own YouTube videos. So it is, it is, you're gonna to have to play with it a little bit if you're not familiar with lighting and video. So you can just play with it until you get it right. You can turn one bulb on and leave the other off and angle it at, you know, so that you can only get one bulb in your shot. Or if you have a big enough space, you can bring your desk toward the camera and away from the bulb so that your key light can really have its effect, the effect that it's supposed to have. So this is a side eye view or a side view of the lights that we just installed, how we draped the wire up and over the ceiling and we placed our low, our dim Edison bulbs, you know, along the wall to give us some contrast. So I'm going to dim the light so that you can really get an effect of how of how the, the lighting looks, the lighting that we just installed, how it looks as you're playing with your lights. This is very important because it's gonna, it, uh, it tells you which bulb you want, how you want to set up your lights, and just how to manipulate your, your light situation. So I'll go ahead and turn them all the way down. So it's probably really bright on camera, but here I can I just have a really nice soft glow. And when you bring in your key light or whatever other lighting that you're gonna use, it should give you really good contrast depending on how you set everything up. So I'm gonna bring in the rest of the, equ the equipment, everything that I've uh, been gathering for the past month. I'm going to bring it all in, I'm going to set it up. Everything that I bring in is going to, is going to be linked down below. Um, so you can see exactly how much I pay for it. Um, not, probably not exactly how much, I, how much I pay for it because with sales and everything going on now, you might be able to get a really great deal or you might find a different brand, a different option that works best for you and your budget. But everything that I purchased, I 
I did a lot of research and I tried to find the best deal at the time that I could. So I'm going to show you how, well, you will see how much I paid for them. You'll see exactly where I got them and you'll see how I was able to set this up and make this small space work for me. That was the whole setup. I think maybe it took a little more than 20 minutes to get everything set up but that was with me already having installed and assembled the, the show that I had for my storage space. So if you wanted to, you know, go a different option, maybe get an actual table or actual desk, maybe it'll go well. Um, but this was the option that I chose because once again, I, I am on a budget. It is very expensive to get started in, in the photography or filmmaking business. So you have to get your foot in any kind of way that you can. So this is the options that I chose and it has worked out for me. It was less than $500 and it's very functional. We install lights. Um, we assembled the desk part. As I said before, the bottom shelf, you can make it come up as much as you want to. Uh, it's all depending on how you want to set your studio up. I chose to go as far as audio. I have a Boya that I purchased whenever I got the Sunpack uh, vlogging kit from Best Buy over a year ago now. It's, it's a link down below the exact kit that I purchased. Everything pretty much that I got was a kit from the, um, the sun pack, the ring light uh, over a year ago to my recent purchases of the soft boxes and um, even this little uh, screen right here that I have, it, it also came as a kit of some sort. So I've been um, trying to, it's, I, it's my opinion that going with the kits sometime, you know, it's better depending on what you're receiving in the kit. So you always want to make sure you get um, the breakdown of what's in that kit so you can see if you can, you know, bargain somewhere else on some other website or store. It is important that you be as creative as you need to be because this is going to give you that creativity that you put into your studio is going to give you that drive to continue going. It gets difficult because things are so expensive and sometimes we don't know which way to go, but continue to do your research, continue to reach out to uh, different YouTube channels and getting different ideas on what you want and what's going to suit you and your creativity. Always continue to press on. Whenever you get distracted or overwhelmed, just take a deep breath and look at some more YouTube videos because someone out there, including myself, you know, I'm going through the same thing. And before I was even going through a lot more things, trying to figure out which, you know, which microphone would be best, what lighting is going to be best. I'm still not up to par with any of my gear. But this is where I'm getting my foot in. This is how I'm gonna get my foot in. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you learned just as much as I learned while we put this studio together. Every day is a learning process. And one thing for sure is practice does make perfect. If you don't understand something, reach out, um, watch YouTube videos, Google, read manuals, do as much as you can to educate yourself so that you can be become the best photographer, vlogger, whatever it is that you're aspiring to be, make sure you pursue that dream. Never give up and always like, subscribe, and let's get wild.